I haven't done a video on the solar plane project in a long time so I decided to make this quick uh, informal video showing my progress um, and what I'm doing so as you know uh, the solar plane crashed and the whole wing all the solar cells shattered so then I uh, fixed the wing up um, without solar cells to try and diagnose the problem that made it crash and it was a inverse aileron twisting basically I forgot the official name but basically the aileron would make the whole wing twist and that would cancel out the effect of the aileron so it just like spiraled down had no turn control and crashed multiple times so this is V2 this is uh, solar plane version 2 now here's the fuselage it uses the same motor and the same 18 inch prop and if we look inside here flip it over um, it's got the same speed controller it's a 30 amp RCMC ESC um, right now I have these two balsa spars running down either sides and they're definitely not rigid enough so I need to uh, stiffen the fuselage up with something so I'm going to use carbon strips I think and put them along the along the sides and that should help a lot but otherwise there's the tail down there um, it's pretty similar in size to the solar plane version 1 and this one has a rudder right off the bat um, I put a rudder on the solar plane version 1 but that was after it already had crashed so now we have rudder control I don't know how long it is exactly but it's pretty long um, here's the wing I just finished soldering all these solar cells together today um, here is the other half of the wing and I have not put solar cells on this half yet um, here's these new ribs they're just kind of a different design but um, yeah so to prevent the wing from twisting like the last one did I have put two spars instead of just one and these spars are 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter square uh, extruded carbon tubes and this is definitely not ideal I'm, go I'm going to build a third solar plane um, that's going to use a carbon tube or one single carbon spar that has all the uh, fiber threads at 45 degree angles kinda like a normal carbon tube that you would expect to see in like a on like a octocopter boom or something like that but these are uh, protruded carbon tubes so that all the threads run lengthwise um, down the tube so they're pretty strong like like this but they're they're not very rotationally strong and that's why the wing would twist um, however having two spars in this wing definitely makes it a lot stiffer rotationally so hopefully it will work and not have the same problem and crash so these wings are gonna have polyhedral you can see how there's a connection right here with some carbon brackets that I designed that give the wing a bit of a give the wing tips a bit of an angle upwards um, and these are gonna connect in the middle so this side right here will connect to this side down here um, you can see how it, they kinda fit together but putting them together is kind of a pain but I mean it's the wing is too big to fit in a car if you don't take it apart this is uh, each segment this side the middle that's in half and then this side is each a meter so it's a three meter wing it's a little bit bigger than the solar plane version one I'm doing the electronics differently as well right here I have this Genesun GV boost uh, charge controller this is an MPPT controller which means that it uh, basically pulls the optimal amount of current out of the solar panel so that it's as efficient as it can possibly be and this is a voltage step up as well so I'm gonna run um, more of the more of the solar cells in parallel instead of series and that will give better redundancy um, for cracked or damaged solar cells but it'll also give a lower uh, overall voltage but this can take a minimum of 5 volts and then it boosts that up to the voltage that's needed to charge a 4 cell lipo battery so I'll be using a 4 cell on this plane as well the last one used a 3 cell these solar cells are pretty outdated a lot of people recommended different solar cells um, to use but I had already um, I had already designed and ordered all these ribs 
by the time I had like done some research on these new types of solar cells. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and build this plane, build V2, and then also do a V3 later. Um, this will be a good experiment with these kind of older types of solar cells to see if it's possible to sustain flight and all. Um, and they're really breakable, so we'll see. If this one fails, then it's not too terrible because V3 is underway. I think V3 is going to be smaller because these uh, new kinds of cells are smaller. Um, so I'm not going to need to make the wing cord big enough to accommodate two uh, six inch solar cells back to back. I'll show you them. They're in this box down here. So these are the types of cells apparently on the solar impulse. If you've seen that big solar plane. Um, the nice thing about these is they are a little bit flexible and they are more efficient than these and they're not too much more expensive if you buy them from the right place. Um, they are more expensive though. Um, I think one of the reasons they're more efficient is because there's no lines like you can see these have little metal lines all throughout them that do not actually convert sunlight to electricity only the blue part does that and these are just all blue so if you flip these over you can see the back has a lot of little lines whatever that's for and the tabs that you solder onto are actually kind of more conveniently placed as well than these so I'm gonna build a V3 I'm going to build wing ribs that are made to accommodate these and a um, roll wrapped spar instead of an extruded spar. And as you can see these are not as long so the wing will be a little bit shorter. So yeah that should be good. That should be... I'm excited to start on that one. I haven't had a whole lot of time lately for these projects because I've been busy with school and all. but. I'm looking forward to spending some time on this project soon, hopefully. Um, now, obviously, it's kind of getting to be that time of year where the sun is very low in the sky. So, testing conditions for this plane won't be ideal, but that's okay. We'll do it anyways and just see how it works. Um, and with this charge controller, I'll be able to utilize the solar power, um, even though even if it can't run off solar power 100% completely. So I'll just be able to charge the battery with whatever's available and stay in the air for as long as possible. So that'll be interesting. Anyways, that's a little update. Hope you found that uh, informative and interesting if you were following this project. Um, also, I had a lot of people donate to the um, after the last video of the crash. Um, people were sending PayPal donations. So if you donated, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. A lot of your uh, funds funds have gone to building this new one and will also go to building the V3. So thanks to all of you who did that. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.